Let us see some of the master data reports that is available in SD module. It is quite interesting to see these reports. The first report I am going to show you is under Logistics Sales Distribution Master Data Information System, Business Partner. This will show the total sales that is uh, made for this customer. Yeah, but it's not exactly a master data report because it, sh it shows the transaction data which is the sales. So let us ignore that for a moment. And the conditions report is also uh, we can I cannot show it to you right now because you'll be wondering what is conditions is all about because we haven't covered it yet. We'll be covering about conditions when we come to pricing and taxes and understanding condition techniques so we can ignore that for a moment so the only thing I can show here is the list of customer material information this is the information that we have created for a specific uh, customer the material information that we have created for each customer specifically under this topic so that information can be extracted from here let me see if I can execute this report yeah this is how it looks remember I've uh, entered personal computer when I was explaining about this topic I entered 0001 as a customer's material number for our material which is 1247 and I have entered customer's material description as personal computer and it's shown here and uh, let me see I did not enter any minimum delivery quantity but I did enter delivering plant delivering plant probably I've erased it we have entered the delivery plan it should be shown here so let me zoom in sales organization and this is how we can see the information so that is one report and the list of contracts rebate agreements and so forth we haven't covered it yet so we can ignore it for a moment close all these notes and you must also take a look at this report here is under sales and distribution as well but under sales information system information system customer using these reports we can see total incoming orders for a particular customer we have not created any yet so I can enter the customer number here as a sold to party and uh, a particular material so to see what are the orders that we have raised for this customer we have not created anything so I think the report will be empty and similarly we can also see what are the returns sales returns that is specific to a customer and this is sales volume the difference between sales volume and incoming orders is that not all incoming orders can be converted into a billing document so only the billing document is ultimate sales so that's the difference here you can see invoiced sales because not all sales orders will be invoiced only a few will be invoiced so if you have invoiced it you can see it here and similarly credit memo once you the customer returns the goods we will issue the credit memo and we can see the credit memo by the customers here and this analysis is uh, it's a common analysis to see all the transactions for a customer let me try to execute I think our system is empty now so we won't be able to see any data once we create some data we'll kind of revisit this section and then see how the report will look like Similarly, we can also see materials that is involved in an incoming order. 
without uh, filtering down to a specific customer you can see it at the material level same thing goes for returns, sales volume, credit memos and so forth and we can also see the sales orders by sales organization so I don't filter by the material even though I have an option I can remove this and see the total sales for the sales organization and invoice, credit memo and returns and so forth same thing for shipping point we can also see the deliveries and returns what are the deliveries that will be shipped from this shipping point and what are the returns that will be coming back via this shipping point and this, this report will show us the incoming orders made by a sales employee because sales employee is our agents working for us for commission so if you want to pay commission to a particular employee you can use this report to analyze what is the total sales made by the sales employee and pay commission based on that and you can also print a report to see what is the sales done by a particular sales office and so forth so these are the important reports that is available let me see if there's any other report I think these reports are sufficient